The centenary lecture in commemoration of Nigeria's 100 years of economic relations with the UK. It begins with an address by the chairman of the occasion, Dr. Ernest Shoneko. He identifies the need for investors to switch the line of business from oil. Sharing the same opinion, the Chamber's President and Council and the invited guest speaker call for the mobilization of the private sector to increase the value of trades between the UK and Nigeria. It's also important for government to mobilize and involve the organized private sector in the initiation and implementation of economic policies. Nigeria's first integrated petroleum refinery is built to come on stream in 2018, and that should signal the end of importation of finished petroleum products into Nigeria. What this means is that the UK and UK companies need to begin to rethink their investments striving in Nigeria. On his own part, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Dr. Andrew Pocock, dwells on the need for Nigeria to speed up on its non-oil sector development. Um, Nigeria's economy is beginning to change to a very energetic and uh, impressive agriculture base. So sees agriculture and rightly as something which should move from a subsistence activity to a business and commercial one. And as the only real employer of scale available in this country in the next few years. And again, we can have that value to the agricultural area. But that needs to happen quickly. The event also has the launch of a scheme, the Exports Nigeria Initiative. This aims to provide logistics support for entrepreneurs in the area of commodities export. Temple Ashaju, Channels Television News.